Okay. Deontay. Energy? Oh, Deontay. Goodness. Radio Raheem. Oh Listen, man, goodness. you you said that your people have been fighting for 400 on, years. Man. Your people know, too. So I just want you to explain what you mean too. by that. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all all know what I'm talking about, man. Don't sit up here and try to bait Radio Raheem. I don't have to explain what's understood, man. You know what I mean by that. Go Google that shit. See what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, man. You know what I dare you to sit up there and say he's explaining. You know what I'm talking about, man. He's fighting people. You know we've been fighting 400 and still fighting to this day. To this day. To this day. You just sit here and you don't know what I'm talking about? Radio. <laughs> Radio Raheem. <laughs> I know, I know, when Deontay Wilder took off his shades, you were like, uh -huh. <laughs> that's the radio, that's, that's you radio. My people, this is Showbiz the Dope. That's right, man. All my show business partners, that's right. I'm still injured. I'm going to be out for a while. But that does not mean that I'm not going to be able to have my opinion on what's going on, especially for one of the most anticipated fights of the year, Tyson Fury against Deontay Wilder. Dude, let's talk about... That intense face-off between Deontay Wilder and Radio Raheem. Look, 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 Radio. Look, Radio. Number one, bruh, you knew. I mean, I look, I respect what you do. I respect who you are. I often look at your stuff seconds out. I look at your channel. For you to start off the question. With the little Obama, you threw a little Obama. Don't say to, to try to validate your question. You threw a little Obama in there. Uh, Deontay Wilder. Uh, this is Radio Rocky. 400 years. Like, dude, you knew. And when he took off his shades and got intimate, I, you know, you, you, you drive a hard bargain, Radio. You drive a hard bargain. I would, I would have squirted. I would have squirted. I would have squirted a piss. I would have squirted about this, but that was an intimidating look. And oh, by the way, when they had that face off, that, that little pushing fest, yeah, right here. When they had that little pushing fest, in the back, you saw my man, Bad Chad. That's right, Bad Chad, a familiar face. Because if you've seen him in my, I know you saw him in my live stream. He was also in my live stream when uh, I was at the Kane Heron fight. You saw him in my live stream here. Bad Chad play no games, man. You know, he's a part of Hard Knock Nights Live, right? So you know he's a part of the team. He's going to be in the game. And you know he's representing Tyson Fury. You saw him on that side representing. I'm, that's the most I'm going to give you. So here's my, here's my prediction, okay? I'm going to try to give a solid prediction. And I know I haven't been able to do it. And I know my show business partners been wondering... Who do I have, Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder? Um, I'm not going to let who we have as far as, far as part of our HKNL team influence uh, my decision here. Um, so I'm going to try to look at it the best way I can. Like I said before, the better boxer is Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, he's the bigger man too. He's 6'9". He does everything better than Deontay Wilder. He moves better as a boxer. He's slicker. Uh, he has a better jab, more fundamentals. He's better than Deontay Wilder. But Deontay Wilder is a better athlete, and he has this X factor. He has that wild right hand that can hurt anyone. And it has. It, it hurt everyone. You can't ignore the fact that this guy is 40 and old and he's knocked out everybody. But I'm trying to look at it. Okay, think about it like this. James Tony was a better boxer than Roy Jones. As far as fundamentals, James Tony was better than Roy. He was better than Roy, dude, fundamental-wise. 
but he couldn't beat Roy. Roy whooped that dude because Roy was just a better gifted athlete with power in both hands and he was unconventional and that worked in his favor. It's kind of like being in a small room. Fighting Deontay Wilder is like being in a small room with a 10 year old swinging an ax who's blindfolded, okay? It's kind of like, dude, it, I mean, dude, if that ax clipped me, I'm hurt. What Tyson Fury must do is not worry about dodging the right hand, but he's going to have to engage uh, Deontay Wilder and he's going to have to take away his right hand by being offensive himself and making Deontay Wilder more defensive than offensive. He has to show enough def uh, he has to show enough offense to make De uh, Deontay Wilder reluctant to throw his right hand. If he doesn't make Deontay Wilder question throwing a punch, he's going to lose. If Tyson Fury goes out and is offensive, he wins the fight. Let's do it like that. If Tyson Fury is offensive, he wins the fight. If he tries to be slick, Deontay Wilder knocks him out. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think Radio Raheem, all he wanted to do was get under Deontay Wilder's skin or did it make him look bad? Also, let me know your predictions. Who you think is going to win Saturday night? And what do you think about Bad Chad being in Hard Knock Nights Live? And what does that mean to you if Bad Chad is in the game and he's a part of the roster? Showbiz the adult. I'm going to listen do to Showbiz. I'm boxing. <gasps> What's that?